Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, we will cover two things. So first of all, we will cover the latest updates to SAP Remover 64, a completely free software that you can use to dual boot your A11 and lower devices to as low as iOS 11. And second, we have some latest updates to check rain. Sorry, I'm making this video a bit late because in my country, there have been internet disruptions for like four to five days straight. So anyways, let's begin. So I already made a full introduction video on SAP Remover 64. The link is in the description. So now there was a problem that after the dual boot, on the second progress bar, it was taking about one hour or higher. So this problem is now fixed. Also, now it supports dual booting as low as iOS 11.0. So you can definitely try it out. Now, at the time of making this video using SAP Remover 64 is all a manual process as you can see it right here. But as I said in my full introduction video, which is in the description, I have shown how to use it so that you can easily dual boot your A11 and lower devices. Now, please keep in mind that SAP Remover 64 is only tested on Mac OS. It may work on Linux if you gather all the binaries for Linux because it uses a lot of binaries as you can see it right here. But I think if you read out all the instructions here, it is very easy to do. But if you want an easier method to dual boot your device, you can use dual rain. The link for the full guide is in the description for you. One more thing that you will have to keep in your mind that SAP Remover 64 will not work on 16 GB devices. It will only work on 32 GB or higher devices. Also your touch ID, face ID or pass score will not work. The next update is for all the Chakrain fans. We can still see some updates going on for Chakrain. As you can see on your screen, we have a lot of changes and updates to Pangu OS iOS 15 branch. We have some changes to the KPF for Chakrain. Now guys, if you visit the official GitHub page for Chakrain Pangu OS, we can see Pongo OS and new lib was updated recently two weeks ago. So here you can see the iOS 15 branch. So definitely the work is ongoing. This means that you might see a release for Chakrain also. But as I said earlier, it will be rootless. It will not be rootful. So we have some changes to files with 335 additions and 229 deletions. As you can see it right here. That's all what we have right now. If I have anything worth sharing, I will definitely do it with you. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.